look at Copic's Lavender Multiliner. You may have seen these shown on the channel before. While I was a, at AX, I picked up a couple other sizes. Um, I got a 0.5 from one of those subscription boxes. It might have been the Art Snacks one. And I purchased a 0.3 and a 0.1. And I have a cute little illustration here on Fabriano Aqu Aquarello watercolor paper. And this is their Artistico paper um, that is 100% cotton rag. So I'm going to try inking this illustration here with these fine liners. Now usually when I am going to work in watercolor, I go for um, the Sailor Mitchell Ida or another brush pen. I don't normally grab tack pens. So I am going to play around with these and then I'll check in with you guys and let you know what I think. pretty much just the 0.5. The 0.3 was much smaller than I remember it being. And if the 0.3 is that small, then the 0.1 must be, you know, teeny tiny. So I ended up just using mostly the 0.5. It did catch a little on the watercolor paper. It's something I kind of expected to happen. Um, sometimes textured watercolor papers will take your pen with it or your pencil with it. So it's just something you really need to kind of be aware of and try to work around it. So since a technical pen doesn't have any give in the nib, there are areas that I'm going to have to kind of go back over just to give it like a slightly thicker line weight, uh, better imply, um, you know, weight and overlap through, through um, darkening up, tightening up some lines. Um, you can make the line a little darker also by going over it again. So you can kind of work this color in a couple of different ways. You can do a fatter line weight or you can do um, a darker area. So I will check in with you guys again after this has had a chance to cure for 24 hours and um, I'm ready to start painting it. All right, guys, this has had plenty of time to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and begin erasing with a very soft eraser. This is actually a Creative Mark white stroke. And you know, I've tried like the Japanese soft erasers. Um, I have several like the Pilot Foam eraser or like um, both types of mono erasers. And honestly, the white stroke is easy to find and it is very, very gentle and it doesn't cause smearing. I highly recommend it. So if you're looking for a nice eraser to use with your watercolors or maybe you're a comic artist and you need a softer eraser and you, you're like me, you don't care for gum erasers, um, the white stroke is great. And you don't have to order it through Amazon or from Japan or jet pins to get it. I mean, you do have to order it or drop by your local Jerry's, but that's not the worst thing in the world, is it? Trip to the art supply store. Similar, but not quite the same, but also really good are Moo erasers. They're Korean erasers, maybe harder to find, um, but they're also excellent and very, very soft. If you have an, a local art supply store, um, they, 
<clears throat> sorry, they may carry it. I found that like little locally owned shops tend to carry weird things I wouldn't find anywhere else. So it's always fun to pop in David Art Supply in New Orleans. Well, actually in Metairie um, and see what they've got. And I usually try to make it a point to go by there when I'm in Louisiana visiting family. So. It takes a little doing to get the graphite off, but it looks like most of it's coming up. All right, so that is what the Copic Lavender Multiliners look like after you've erased the graphite. I have a Sakura colored multi-liner as well, although it says pink here for the U.S. version. I've seen them referred to as Sakura, and I like that since lavender is a flower, Sakura is a flower too. And my friend Kabocha sent me some hot press Fabriano paper, so I was thinking I might do a cute illustration on the hot press and then ink it with the Sakura multi-liner. So next step for this, however, will be watercoloring. Although we know that um, Copic, um, at least Copic multi-liners and watercolors play together quite well. So I will see you guys when I'm ready to watercolor.